Oh God the Father, we pray that you bless this family yours. Oh God the Father, we pray that you bless this family yours. Saint Anthony, 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 Saint Solidarity we believe your heroes forever. Solidarity we believe your heroes forever. You know that the roots of education are bitter, but the fruits are sweet. It's time. Welcome to St. Anthony's Boys High School Kitale, the school of scholars and sportsmen. My name is Cedric King. Thank you. in terms of academic. Currently they are the champions region in hockey and also in rugby. Nationally in hockey we are number two. We are taking our team to Rwanda uh, that is in August and rugby we are three nationally and also we are taking our team hopefully to Rwanda. And right now we are doing uh, football, which is doing very well, we also believe we shall take it or to go up to East Africa. St. Anthony, when it comes to academic, currently it is number five in the country. We are academic giants and also we are a STEM uh, institution whereby we venture so much in, in uh, sciences. St. Anthony is known for its prowess when it comes to academic matters. The teachers in St. Anthony are committed, they are self-directed, and the students are very disciplined. In fact, our students have never involved themselves in issues to do with the discipline. Things like strikes we just hear from other schools, but not St. Anthony. So when it comes to hard work, seen in our students. So I, I can say in summary that St. Anthony is a powerful institution which is also a Catholic sponsor. We do our mass on Thursday which is attended by all the students. So when it comes to mentoring in terms of spirituality, we are also doing so well. Okay, my teaching subjects I teach Kiswahili and CRE. I have a passion both subjects. Currently, I'm taking from 1F in CA Kiswahili. The last exam that we had, we had a mean of 7.5. We are doing very well. And we were number three in our stream. We even celebrated with my class. So we are doing so well. I have a passion when it comes to teaching. I enter my classes very early in the morning. Like today, by five, I was doing my class. I do my classes very early. 
And that is how I'm mentoring them so much. I'm so close to them. And I'm doing an acheka, nimefurai, nijinzi, walimu ambao mesmama hapa, wameweza kukisherekea kiswaili, nimefurai sana. Haswa mwalimu wetu mwandamizi wa maswala ya kiutawala bwana Onsari. I'm a geography teacher. I'm also the deputy principal administrator of St. Anthony's Boys. Uh, first of all, my main work in this school is to teach geography, just like another teacher. So I'm a geography teacher. I teach and examine geography. Number two, as a deputy principal, I assist the principal in the day-to-day -day management of this institution. As the deputy principal administration, I'm in charge of the student discipline, the teacher discipline, and the workers of the school. In terms of student discipline, I lie as with the class teachers, the boarding master, and the head of schools, because in our school we have the head of school form one, Head of school form two, head of school form three, and head of school form four. Uh, Said so that you know the head of school form one manages the form one, and we work together. The same with the head of school form two and form three. The school is a very large institution, like ours, as a, about 2,500 students. This is a large community. And in a large community, you have all sorts of Kenyans. We have those ones who can follow the school routine to the latter. We have others who like mischief. And we have others who can go against the school routine at any given time. So my main work is to ensure that these students follow the school routine. And in case the I go against the school routine. We deal with them in the following way. One, we refer them to the guidance and counseling so that the guidance and counseling can cancel them and show them the need. Two, we can sit down with the student and the head of schools and talk with them. And if it goes to the worst, then we can call the parent where we sit down with the parent and we look at the best ways possible to assist the child. Our policy in this school is that we would want to maintain all our students who are admitted from Form 1 to Form 4, so that they go through uh, the coursework and become better Kenyans in the future. Uh, we, at times we have lost students uh, leaving this school because of indiscipline, but it is not our own making. When a student refuses to follow the school routine and refuses to uh, adhere to the school rules, then the only thing is that you know we can request the parent to change the environment for the child. St. Anton is a sporting school and the sports needs high level of discipline. You cannot play soccer, we're good in soccer. Our soccer team has been very good over years. The same thing with um, hockey. And currently our rugby team has also joined in. To play these games you need a high level of discipline. So we insist because discipline is key to success in any way. Otherwise, for me, I can actually say that, you know, the teamwork we have, parents, teachers, has made us to come this far. And we want to pray God that, you know, we continue doing this to the end.
I also want to thank um, our Bishop, Bishop Juma, who is the BOM chair, and our chaplain, Father Matthew, for the spiritual food he's giving to these students. Without them, we may not, or we could not be where we are. We have um, Mass every Sunday and every Thursday, and this has also helped us to keep these kid, kids on toes. Otherwise, I want to ensure, I, w I want to, want to believe that, you know, in the coming year, I want to see St. Anthony at the very top academically and in co-curricular activities. Thank you so much. Uh, kwanza kabisa ngependa mshukuru mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi hii, nafasi ya kipeke ambaye metujalia, tumeona shubui na tuimiza katika neno lake kwamba upendo wake wa maisha yetu haukumi na rehema zake ni mupia kila asubui na amini ya kwamba rehema ambazo buwana maachilia kwa sababu ya maisha yetu ni nyingi sana na mshukuru buwana kwa sababu ya umbali ya metulete hasa kwa kipindi cha kwanza cha mula uwa pili ambapo tumeelekea vizuri na tunapofika uh, kesho jinsi tulivyoambiwa siku ya Jumatatu na mwalimu mkuu ya kwamba tutaelekea nyumbani kwa hivyo tunamshukuru kwa kazi ambayo ametusaidia kufanya so when someone has stated, so as to administer first aid, uh, the first aider must first assess for response, for the response of the casualty. Jana, Jana, what's up? What's up? If, and, uh, if and responsive, you go and uh, you go ahead and open the airway. After opening the airway using the, either the head, head tilt or the jaw thrust, you then assess for breathing. After checking for the breathing of the casualty, you assess for circulation using the carotid pulse. After checking for for the circulation, you loosen any tight clothing. You, you lay the casualty flat on his back and elevate the legs. The purpose of elevating the legs is so as to improve blood circulation to the head. And that's how you... After elevating the legs after some few minutes or seconds, the casualty will regain consciousness. That's why you administer first aid for fainting. My name is uh, Joseph Mofula. I'm the director of studies. I'm a teacher of mathematics chemistry, uh, basically. Uh, my key roles in this office is to ensure that the curriculum is implemented to the full. And uh, I do that in consultation with the administration, the principal, the deputies, heads of departments, and the rest of the teachers. Uh, we have a number of programs in St. Anthony that uh, we follow and we ensure that all the teachers are there to them strictly. In addition to the uh, program that is set aside by the Ministry of Education, 
we will slightly do more than what they have set for us. Uh, for example, we have programs for the boys. Uh, over the weekend, we make sure that uh, the boys have uh, discussions in several subjects during the course of the day. Uh, we ensure that uh, teachers supervise what the boys are doing. Uh, we also ensure that uh, the boys are evaluated uh, on a regular basis and we have data to that effect. And uh, as a result of that, we have actually seen the performance of St. Anthony's uh, going up. If I would just go to the year 2017, I think that is the year when we had our lowest performance index, we had 6.7. In 2018, we moved to 7.6. Uh, 2019, uh, where we had a candidature of 392 candidates, uh, we got 7.8. That was actually a steady rise. And the year 2020, uh, with a candidature of 382, uh, we had a performance index of 8.7. Now, 2021, uh, we had slightly fewer students and we went down a bit to 8.3. However, 2022, we realized our weaknesses and uh, we worked around the clock to ensure that the boys are able to, uh, to improve on their performance. And with a candidature of uh, 437, we managed a performance index of 10.3. Uh, basically, the success of St. Anthony lies on the programs that we have in the school. And I think that is where our secret lies, that uh, the boys are not left on their own. Uh, when they wake up in the morning, right from the time they wake up in the morning, we have teachers who are together with them. Uh, then our lessons, again, begin at 7. Unlike most schools where they begin teaching the students at 8. Uh, so, but we end our lessons slightly early, 4.30 or thereabout, to allow them to go and play. Remember, this is also a sporting school, so, so that we allow them to go and, uh, and play. And uh, here I really want to thank our parents. I think we have uh, great parents, they really support us on this. Every time we call upon them uh, to come and discuss the performance of their sons, they are always willing uh, to come over and uh, work together with us. However, we allow the, our boys to sit for uh, at least 10 of them from Form 1, actually up to the end of Form 1. And then uh, by the time they start from two, we usually scale down to eight subjects. And uh, out of those eight, of course, uh, we register each child for KCSC, eight subjects. Subject performance, I know we have challenges at the initial stages, uh, especially from two. But we work on them, and in most cases it is because of the attitude uh, they are normally sometimes told by the society out there that physics and maths are difficult, but uh, when they realize that they are able to achieve, that they are able to get the concepts in those subjects, by the time they are in Form 3, they go to Form 4, you will find the performance index in the Form of 2022, we had a performance index of 10.3. Uh, all our boys qualified to go to university. The last uh, a candidate actually here had a B minus, and uh, we are very happy with that, especially given the fact that we have uh, uh, boys who play in hockey, uh, football, basketball, and what have you. I think we had uh, like computer, they did very well, although we, have, we had few students, 13 of them. These are the team that was taught by Mr. Kitu and uh, Mr. Nipesa. They had a performance index of 12, all the boys scored A. Another subject that they did quite well was geography, uh, with 164 candidates. 
uh, out of uh, the 437 uh, who did geography, they scored very well. The lowest had an A minus, and actually they had a very good performance index of 11.8. This is a subject that is uh, taught by our deputy principal administration, and uh, I think those are some of the people that uh, uh, make us to work harder because, as much as they are administrators, but uh, they do a good job. So we all uh, try to follow their footsteps. Uh, of course, the other subjects, I think the average was uh, uh, 10 or thereabouts, but we had some, especially specific classes like chemistry. Some classes were going as high as uh, uh, 10.5, but we had some classes which were getting 10. So when you get the average, it will give you that 10 or thereabouts. Yeah, so our target for 2023. Uh, we are targeting to get 10.5 plus, and uh, I think it's an uphill task. But uh, so far, like today, we are having a program of evaluation that is going on. We are having uh, about three main exams during the course of the term. The teachers are evaluating the boys on a daily basis. The weak ones, we have already discussed with their parents. Uh, so that we see how to work with them. I know the parents support in terms of uh, uh, ensuring that uh, the child is guided properly, especially on Wednesdays. We allow our parents to come over every Wednesday so that we discuss uh, the, weak, the weak areas of their children. And we hope that uh, uh, come 2023, we should be in position one, two, or three, in the top three positions. Uh, St. Anthony Boys High School was the best school in Transoya County. Nationally, we were in position 5. We were defeated by about 4 schools. Uh, that's why we are saying that position 1 is possible. As I say, as I say, uh, praise the saints. Praise the saints. Welcome to KD, the school of like a long run of scholars and schools. Our slogan, our target. Thank you, thank you. Then A stand were 13 students, A minus 100 students, B plus 216, B stand 135, B minus 30, C plus 1, C stand nil c minus one the mini score is 9.845 as it is we are the champs that is in transoya county you want to preserve marine gas all right yes. i've explained how the gas is produced how the gas is prepared and you know that chlorine is a poisonous gas that's why we are preparing it outside that's clear it is a poisonous gas we are supposed to prepare it in a working fume chamber so we want to prepare chlorine uh, using hcl this is a uh, this is conk hcl this is concentrated hcl and we have uh, manganese foxide Manganese foxide is the oxidizing agent in this case. So we start by putting the, the manganese foxide. So that is manganese foxide oxidizing agent. We are going to prepare the gas and we're just using the flower petal. We are going to see what happens to the flower. <laughs> and the flower should be wet. I hope this is water. So we have to wait because chlorine does not bleach when it is dry. If the water must be there. 
so that we form chloric one acid and hydrochloric acid. The water must be there. So you can hold like this. Which method of gas collection are we going to use? Downward delivery. Because it's denser than air. Because the gas is denser than yeah. air. Green? It is green, yellow. Is that clear? Yes. Green, yellow. Okay, look at the flower petal. Look at our flower. Move behind. I say the gas is poisonous. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph Kundu, uh, the senior technician. Mm. And, uh, I've been in this school for a good number of years. Been in this school for 36 years as a technician. And uh, we enjoy working in this school. Uh, environment is always conducive. With the time we have improved from one step to another and we are continuing to improve yeah, Thank you, our senior technician, I'm Martin Onyanga Mono. I'm a teacher of chemistry and biology and uh, the coordinator of chemistry of this school. Uh, St. Anthony's Boys High School for a very long time has been performing so well in some subjects. Uh, we've been a leading school especially in chemistry for the past five years and we are very optimistic by that uh, with the kind of staff that we have and the support that we have from the school we will uh, still remain at the top yeah thank you um, welcome to St. Anthony's Boys High School Kitale this is the homeland of scholars and sportsmen I am Rodney Haemba the school president it's nice being here and it's a really great institution now, as we look around, this is the best institution that uh, most of the people have been longing and wanting to be over here. Actually, we are giants and academic giants in even sports and educational purposes, uh, co-curricular activities to support talent, because we believe the future of uh, this generation of child is supposed to be innovative and creative. Uh, I'm currently in Form 4, and uh, our target this year is to be the best school in the country. That should be the Kenya one with a mean of the most explicit mean that you've ever been. Uh, we welcome you, all people. Uh, I am the head of the students' cabinet and my cabinet comprises of, of seven captains and class prefects and also other prefects where we work hand in hand to make sure the school goes in the right direction. We use the philosophy of altruism whereby we serve people according to the decisions that are right and implemented. Finally, the key objective of a school is academic purposes. We not only shine in curricula, but we also shine in academics. We believe that here education is for light, and education is the only thing that levelizes the child of a rich man and a poor man. We believe that everyone has been given an equal chance to outshine and make a change in life. It's never too late. We can do it. My name is Johnson Tari, the Deputy President of St. Anthony's Boys High School, Italy. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to this great institution where we believe that education is a key to success in life. I'm Paraza Isaac Wekesa, the School Basam Church of Finance Department and supervision of the Adana teaching and support staff. I've been here since 2018. Uh, over the period, we have seen a lot of development. Uh, in terms of infrastructure development, we have done classrooms, two-story buildings, we have done dormitories. And the school over time has performed excellently in academic and co-curricular activities. We have represented Kenya in East Africa and 18 camps. Uh, we have always done so well in academics, even last year we were position 5 nationally. And all those good results simply means there's good finance management because without proper resources we cannot be doing that. But above all, we thank God for his guidance. He has been with us, he has seen us through 
and we still depend on him for further uh, excellence in both academics and sports. I want to specifically the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Education, uh, FSD, we have uh, 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 voted for infrastructure through which uh, uh, in collaboration with the parents, PA contributions. We have done two story classrooms, we have done uh, two dormitories, and we have done also some extension at the kitchen. We also want to thank the Catholic Diocese of Kitale. Uh, they constructed a chapel for us, which we are currently using as both the chapel and the dining hall. So I really want to appreciate those three stakeholders, the Ministry of Education, the Parents Association, and the Catholic Diocese of Kitale for their financial support.
So we are going to start from here. I have Franklin Franklin Wakumu. Uh, he's a cook. Thank you so much. Uh, here we have Edwin Wambaya, he's also a cook. We have uh, Edwin Nasike here, who is also a staff cook. He cooks uh, very delicious meals for the staff. And uh, right here we have Mze Kamkulia Mwenyewe, Joseph Juma, he's a student cook. Uh, here we have uh, Richard Were, who is also a student cook. We have here uh, Josephus Nyongesa, Mtu Wanguku Sana, he's also our cook. And Hapa Ewe Tukwa Na Mrembo, Ule Tuna Mita Tausi, he's also a cook for them for the staff. And uh, Hapa Tukwa Na Mangubu Collins, uh, Wasike, Tuna Mita Koloture, Ye Ni Kuk. Who's nutrition? Who's nutrition? nutrition. <laughs> 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 Uh, she does the uh, utensils for the students. In, the, in our school here, the students' plates are washed for them, so this Nakula is one of the uh, utensil cleaners. After two on Amrembo, the ADP here, and I to a Esta Auma, the cleaner wa utensils. Two for Afana, Amrembo Tena, and I to a police, Kaliaka. David Liwa, he does a very good job in this kitchen. He helps me to coordinate the kitchen cook in uh, taking out our, our daily activities of the week. Thank you so much. Uh, these are the wonderful staff that I, that I have and uh, we are working so well with them. And, uh, their, their work is complementary and uh, they are very professional. They ensure that all the students' meals are cooked on time and uh, no student is uh, missing their food and uh, foods are prepared very well in this kitchen. Thank you so much. Kwa majina naitwa Peter Mayoyo. Mimi ni mwalimu wa michezo katika shule hii. Uh, na pia kocha mkuu upande wa mpira wa miguu. Um, upande wa michezo nilianzia kule Mombasa ambako nilipata mataji mengi kwa football. Kisha nikapata uhamisho nikaja hapa shule ya St. Anthony. Na tangu nifika hapa mwaka elfu moja na elfu mbili na kumi na nne nimekuwa na ufanisi mkubwa kwa upande wa mpira wa magongo kwa upande wa mpira wa miguu na sasa kwa upande wa mpira wa raga na tunatia fora sana upande wa magongo e, ukiangalia katika michuano ya Afrika Mashariki utapata kwamba shule ya St Anthony ndio imefanya vizuri sana kule kuna mataji takriban nane hivi kwa jumla tangu tuanze michezo hiyo mwaka wa 2002 Uh, na tumefanya vizuri sana upande wa magongo na pia ukija injini eh, kwa sasa hivi eh, licha kwamba tulimaliza namba mbili mwaka huu na tunaelekea kule Rwanda kuwakilisha Kenya pia sisi ndio eh, wale wamewahi kushinda mataji mengi sana hapa hapa Kenya katika mchezo wa magongo na ukija upande wa futboli 
e, pia tumeshinda mataji karibu matano ya kitaifa tumeshinda taji moja la Afrika Mashariki na tumeshinda taji moja la la Afrika nzima upande wa Copa Cola under 17 tulifunga Nigeria kwa finali mnamo mwaka wa 2018 na, na, na pia ukija kwa mpira wa vijana chipukizi chini ya miaka 17 tumetangu mwaka wa 2016 tangu anzishe e, safu hiyo tumeshinda mara mbili na huo ni ufanisi mkubwa kisha hapo ikutukaje mwaka wa 2018 ukaanza mchezo wa raga pole pole na tulianza wa, upande wa raga tulianza seven a side ya e, saba kilo upande na mwaka huu tukasema acha tujaribu e, 15 a side na tumefanya vizuri tume hapa Rift Valley tumaliza namba namba 2 tukaenda michezo ya kitaifa tumemaliza namba 3 e, kitu ambacho sio chepesi vile kwa hivyo kwa sasa tunaenda kuwakilisha Kenya katika mchezo wa, wa raga e, na pia wa magongo kule Rwanda na vijana ambao kwa nyuma yangu tuna matumaini makubwa sana kwamba watawakilisha Kenya pia mwaka huu kule Rwanda na tutashinda najua tuna timu nzuri sana mwaka huu na kila mtu anaipigia upato kwa hivyo kuna hapo majaliwa ya Mwenyezi Mungu timu hii itakuwa kule Rwanda vile vile tuwe na timu tatu nafikiri itakuwa ni rekodi ambayo haipo hapa Kenya kama mnapeleka timu tatu kule Afrika Mashariki